Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to show everybody how I do my uh, bullet journal layout. Um, this year I've got a theme of rocking 2021. Um, I kind of, I kind of like the whole idea of, you know, rocking things out. Um, somebody I remember once said, uh, well, what would Kanye do? Well, Kanye does what Kanye wants. And that's sort of how I want to do this here. I want to do it on my terms. Um, obviously I know that could be taken to a selfish way, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking just about doing things the way that it, it works for me and perhaps not taking any apologies about it. Um, Anyways, I have this rose-colored uh, Luchiderm notebook. It has a dot grid, and I like it because the dot grid, if you're using markers and pens above it, it doesn't, it doesn't distract from your layout. Let's just put it that way. It adds guidance. Um, and some people don't like it because they can see through the other side a bit. I wouldn't say it bleeds, but there's definitely, if you hold it up to the light, you can see it. And it's not enough that it bothers me, though. Anyways, um, this is just a nameplate for you to put what you want there. This is really as decorative as I get. Um, you'll notice that my style is very minimalistic and that's how I like it. I'm a graphic designer and white space is our friend. <laughs> so the first four pages are dedicated to a table of contents. Um, it just is what it is. Uh, the Luchiderm notebook is all numbered in the corners right there. Uh, this helps when you're looking for notes that you did last month on such and such. Um, it uh, it definitely helps. So this was something I did in Illustrator. Um, I wanted to do a uh, heavy metal logo for my Rocking 2021. I have this um, on Redbubble. Uh, and I might change it into I'm rocking this t-shirt or something like that. I, I really just love how this turned out. So this is my year at a glance calendar. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, and this is where I put birthdays. That's why I have it covered up. Uh, you'll notice I cover up some of my private information. Uh, so these, this is where I put all my birthdays and anniversaries and things that I want to remember that's on a year that happen every year. Uh, this is my social media growth chart. And I put all the information in at the end of every month. And I see how well I do. I find it helpful. So these are some of my yearly goals. I have business, personal, and my health. Um, yeah. This is my student loans. And I watch as it pays down. Which So this is my invoices. Um... I dedicate two pages to it. Um, this is, uh, I just keep tally of all my invoices that go out. These are ideas for content on my blog or videos. These are different ideas to help my business. Um, they are what they are. These are expenses for my daughter. Now this page 21 for 2021. I thought it was a really clever title. Um, unfortunately, I think 21 goals for a year is like way too much, at least presented in this. Uh, yeah, so I gave up. This is a failed page. Okay. Um, this is my February content for my projects and clients. So basically I lay it out. Uh, this will be where I put my content, like my blog ideas or map out what I'm going to be doing for the month. So it sort of coincides and I have a plan. Um, 
I'll put my social media posts in there. These are usually where I would put my clients and the projects and project manage throughout the month. Um, with the pandemic, I have my daughter here at home a lot, so I really have to be careful that I don't overbook myself. Um, this sort of makes sure that I'm not uh, killing myself working too much with also the expectation of watching my daughter. And this is my weekly layout. So I put the the week number, I put the date, and usually I will have my um, meal planning down in here so I can do my groceries. I also will put any appointments that I have for the week and then I will take some of my project management and bring it over here. And I do, I do contact or color coordinate my clients and the projects. And I will use those. I use, um, I think they're called midliners. Um, and I just find that they're really nice. They're not obnoxiously bright. Um, but I use those and they also come over into here. I also have a weekly to-do list. Um, and things that don't get done, I bring them over to the next week if they're still relevant. Um, it's just like a running to-do list. That's what I like. Um, and then I do leave some pages to do the week, the coming weeks until I hit March. Um, this is my February tracker. I mean, I keep track of a lot of things. I keep track of my anxiety levels. I keep track of, I drink coffee today, if I exercised, if I was outside. Um, just a lot of self-care things. Uh, I just find it easier to track things this way. Um, I'm very forgetful and I will forget to do things. <laughs> um, Anyways, this is, I will repeat these every month. Um, sometimes I switch up how I do things, but this has been pretty standard for the past two to three years now, and I do find it works. Um, I'm trying to think. I also put in notes in uh, my bullet journal uh, last year. Like, I roughly fill out one notebook a year. Last year, it was... I, I had to buy a small book just to, to put the rest of the year into it. Um, but I do save them, and I can look back in them. I do find it very helpful. I have the one when I was pregnant, which I kind of find nice. I can go through and go, oh, yeah, I had these appointments you know, oh, she was this big at this time. It's kind of nice. Anyways, um, I would find right now most of my bullet journaling is around just family life and my business life, trying to get everything done. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's how I bullet journal. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. And I will put up links to the Luchaderm book and all that down below. Okay, thank you.